I, I dare say that nobody in this building right now thought that he would be able to play football again at Shoe. And he was back. Oh, Eric. Oh, Eric. And I think one of the most inspirational sights that I've ever seen was after Ryan got hurt in the last game. Not the thumbs up as he left, but the story I heard about coach just take me up, take me up and let me play. And I think I think that is the spirit of this team. I think that represents the spirit of this team. One of the most inspirational stories I've ever heard. Um, you've heard the term overachievers. And I want to explain when if I what overachieving means for the boys, because I, I really hope they understand what a compliment that, that was. Um, anytime a team is labeled as overachievers, what, what, whether it be in pro football or peewee football, overachievers, what that means is that, that we let our heart and skill and knowledge and hard work overcome talent level that maybe some other teams got by on naturally. That may be the greatest compliment that can be paid because what they literally came as close to 100% of their ability of what God gave them as is humanly possible. And after all, isn't that what life is all about? Um, so always take that as a compliment because when you're playing in the state semifinals, you're, uh, you've shown what you can do, and that's an awesome thing. All right, at this time, I'm going to introduce each, each young man, and we're going to present their medal to them. Okay, that's true. Okay, okay. All right, before we get to that, I'm going to start. There's a lot of people to thank. And I certainly will not get to everyone. Coach Wood will try to clean up my mess when the athletic banquet gets here. But there are some special uh, people that need recognition. Uh, Tyler Strader and Jordan Fitzgerald, please stand up wherever you are. There they are. These young men ran the flags when we scored, and they got a really good workout every game. I'd like the Mighty M Mule Band to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Really, let me see if I can say this better. The Division One Mighty M Mule Band. We appreciate your hard work and congratulations on a great view. I'm going to call out the cheerleaders. They always, always work behind the scenes to a degree that very few people realize. Please stand as I call your name. Bailey Basir, Samantha Reyna, Alexa Fuentes, Tessa Garner, Stephanie Infante. Y'all turn around so they can see you. Face the audience. Jessica Cooby, Mandy Scully, Hadley Geisler, Liliana Vasquez, Jose Martinez. We appreciate the hard work and your dedication. All right, now let's start with the mules. Number two. Xavier Reyes, you all saw him play most of the year in a cast. What a great guy. Number three, Junior Baca. Some people call him Flash. Some people call him Lightning. But if you really think about it, he's one of the toughest running backs there is anywhere. Chris Lozano, number four.
Chris Cage. Bola Vila. Yeah. I have to say, if, if Bo's not the toughest quarterback in the state of Texas, I want to see this guy because he, he hits, Bo hits and gets hit harder than any quarterback I've ever seen, and he was a great leader for this team. Yeah. Austin Ross. <laughs> Austin shows great promise for a great career and made some really key plays this year. Made a great reception in the playoffs. Eric Orozco. Wait, I gotta say, I know I've already talked about you a little bit, but I, I, I personally, I mean, when the, when I hate to be gross, but when the bone is sticking through the sock, you really don't expect him to be back. And great inspiration to the whole community, and we all so grateful to just play. Ryan DeLeon. Do y'all remember the interception? The interception. You know, that, that's going to be a lifelong memory. And what a great, I don't know if he made more plays on defense or offense, but he made a lot of great plays for a great team. Ray Del Toro. Ray. Ray did a great job, of, and he was—he wanted, he really wanted to be a part of something that was bigger than himself. And what a great example! <laughs> Carlos Sosa. But when, in the Littlefield game, when, when, as I now know, when Ryan made the interception, I thought it was 21, so I went over to Ray's dad and gave him five. Now, he gave me five back. We had a great time, but he, he had a look of puzzlement on his face. What was it, the Merkel game? When, he, when Ray ended the Merkel game with an interception, and uh, with the interception too, uh, I went over and gave Ray's dad a high five and he, he was like, yeah, now that's the right one. Great job. Isaac Oliveris. Touchdowns in one game. In a playoff game. Playoff? So, what I was telling the audience if you made four touchdowns in a playoff game, stand up, we'll give you a hand too. I don't see anybody, so. And let's see. Saul made kicker, punter, defensive back, receiver. 
tackle breaker, everything. What are, what are you? What are you? Congratulations. Trevor McCall. Thunder. <laughs> and I don't know if y'all knew this, but Isaac would come in the principal's office at least once a week before the game and we'd watch some Walter Payton video. If you don't know Walter Payton, Google him. His runs are almost as good as Isaac's were. <laughs> but he made not one or two, but one or two every game, it seemed like of the most incredible <laughs> runs I've ever seen on a football field at any level. Toughest runner, hard to bring down. And why don't you draw state line, uh, linebacker too, so good on defense too. Yeah, oh yeah. Emilio <laughs> Gavinas. Now again, you see this, you know, Adelano proved himself to be a playmaker, defense and offense, touchdown maker. And I noticed, what game it was that you got hurt for the second time? From Eastland on, he, was, he literally had that much of his fingers, and I don't believe he ever dropped a ball. The coaches can correct me, but I really don't believe he did. And he caught the ball better with one and a half arms and most people do with three. Congratulations. David Gonzalez. Now David, am I right that you played 10 games on the JV? 10 games on the JV and then became a starter on defense. If, if you want another example of why the Milshu program is, is what it is, that's an example. Play 10 games on the JV and then start on the defense and make a difference for our team in the playoffs. That, what, a, what a year. What a year. <laughs> Speaking of making a difference, Joel Regalado. Now, Joel, did you play 10 games on the JV? 10 JV games. No, we don't play 11 UIL. We don't do that. But. So he played 10 games on the JV and then led the team in tackles in the playoffs. He led the state semifinalists in tackles in the playoffs off the JV. What do you Caleb Wood. <laughs> Caleb was one of the ones that, because of injury, got, got to play a lot more at receiver. And then because of injury, got to play a lot more at secondary. And, if, and was an all-state caliber quarterback that played behind an all-state quarterback. And so leadership, Attitude, work ethic, everything a mule wants to be. <laughs> Junior Triana. <laughs> you know, coaches, coaches joke about sacrificing your body for your team. Junior Triana. <laughs> Adrian Rodriguez. Adrian's one of the ones that was ready. When his time was called, when his number was called, he was ready. And he did, he got the job done. <laughs> Matthew M. 
Memories. Go Matthew and Briggs. Now, I hope I hope this sounds like I want it to sound. But number one, he's one he's he's one of my favorite examples of what a mule is. And and then listen to this whole thing. Don't just listen to the first part. But he's probably a little too short. He's probably a little too light. Probably a little too slow. <laughs> But he is a great football player. And we wouldn't have been where we were without Matthew Embry. Well, Matthew! <laughs> Joey Garrett. Now, Joey, I hope they're here today. Everybody that's for Joey, scream. I mean family that wears his name on their back of the shirt. There they are. Joey has the largest fan base in the old shoe. And they're proud of Joey. And I tell you what, I am too. Blake Edwards. Blake brought enthusiasm, love of the game, he, he's, he came something else, now he's a full mule. We're proud of him. <laughs> Alex Madonna. <laughs> Alex is another one of those that was ready when his time was called, and he shows great promise of being a great football player. We appreciate it. <laughs> Alex Madonna. Great year, great year. James Mendoza. Big James. Congratulations, man. Haciel Lopez. Haciel's one of my favorite athletes because he loves what he does. Adrian Torres. JP Regalado. second best kicker in the state, if not the, I mean, we had, we had two kickers that most teams would have died to have one. Congratulations. <laughs> Ryan Johnson. <laughs> Joey, you got competition for your fan base. One of my first memories of moving to Mule Shoe when, see, you would have been a seventh grader, was in the summer, it's 100 degrees. Ryan would run to the weight, I would see, he would run to the weight room, lift weights. I think he walked back. <laughs> but, so when Ryan Johnson made All-State this year, I told my little girl, I said, he earned it. He really did earn it because I watched him. Great view. Great view. Hey, Zeus Roman. Yeah! <laughs> now, you talk about ready. Hey, Zeus Roman was ready. And when his time came, Coach Wood told me something. I don't know, do they grade out or whatever that they 
They judge them on their plays. And Jesus Roman came in and graded out at the very top. He maybe wasn't even expecting to play that first game. He played a lot. And he came in and was ready to play when he got his chance. That's a great job of being ready, buddy. Woo! Sean Atwood. Sean Atwood is one of the quietest boys in our school. <laughs> but he's also one of the steadiest football players we had, and he played at an extremely high level. Great year. We can't wait to see what's going to happen next year. Tony Molina. I remember this play, you know, and it was there was more than once, but I know it, Isaac Baca scored. And so in the newspaper it says Isaac Baca and another touchdown. Isaac Baca, he's the man. But I, you know, I'm just a principal, and I watched, this was a screenplay, and Tony Molina wiped out this the one guy that could tackle Isaac, Tony Molina wiped him out. And that guy was on his back looking up at the stars as Isaac ran by. So Isaac was a hero, but did you thank him? That a boy. Christian Lucio. Pound for pound, maybe the toughest, hardest working lineman we have, and he's one, another one of, a, of the Bills who worked their way to success. Great year. <laughs> Matthew Barone. My name is Josh Wilbright. You know, I, I, would say two, I would say two things about Coach Wilbright. Number one, you've seen the injury problems we had. And I know football is a, is a physical game, and I know there's injuries. And that's, and, but we had more than our share this year. But Josh Wilbright, he's the best trainer there is. And we all know that. I hope any, any student that gets to work with Josh as a student trainer is learning lessons that cannot be learned any other way. And these, these young ladies and, this, and men deserve a medal as much as anybody up here. They've earned it and they've been trained properly and they help keep our boys on the field. Student trainers this year, Morgan Burris, <laughs> Sheridan White, <laughs> Brittany Solis, <laughs> I've got Angela Rodriguez next. This is losing the wrong order. Probably. Alice Baca. Jasmine Pierre.
Let's all rise and give them a great hand. The Mule Shoe Mule from yeah. 2004.